Good evening. This is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovered Noah. I have chosen and been chosen tonight because of the suffering that began September 11th, 20 years ago. I have decided as me to begin my years this year on this day. I am accustomed to doing this sort of thing. I am accustomed to ignoring the old ways. January 1st every year is the old way. Christmas is the old way for Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovered No More. How much more? How much more? All of the families, all of them, who lost loved ones when this day happened. I have lost much, but I have not lost a child born to me yet. I may never in my lifetime, and I will consider that a blessing. But if I do, I will consider that pain which will provide a blessing in the ancient ways, somehow. And I believe and know that the people who lost family members on that fateful day are the exact same way, regardless of their politics, regardless of their religion or non-religion, regardless of the pain in their private life. They are faithful people. And you know, something about faithfulness is a fuckload. And that is sometimes we don't have a choice. We simply need to do the right thing regardless. And regardless again. But my question to America tonight is, do all of those social security numbers that were affected 20 years ago, have universal health care for the rest of their lives? Are their children thriving? Are their grandchildren thriving? These are questions I can't answer, nor can I do anything about it. if they aren't thriving. Because I'm powerless. Here. And now. But you can't control a woman scorned in America whose bills are paid. You can't do that. This is my father's desk. My father's lamp. From his office. The dictionary and the thesaurus from my parents' home. The books are mine. My dad would have scorned this and required me to make the Bible complete in my life. And that is wrong, but that doesn't mean my father lived a wrong life. He watched for the day, and the day is mine with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But it wasn't my father's, and I have scars. But from the pain that continues because the day is mine, but it wasn't my father's. 
And that is where the King of Kings leads me. And you know not about that, America. But you do know in all of your beautiful records that you keep carefully of each individual in this country, you do know who is the family of the victims, the true victims. Do you remember them? I remember the pictures. I can access them now. Desperate people jumping to their deaths, trying to live. A priest being carried out by firemen. Do you know what we're facing 20 years later, America? Jimmy Carter is old enough that he needed to stay where he is. Donald Trump was off by himself, being the same criminal he is, but using his quote-unquote pretend presidential powers to try to look like a real president when he's not. I don't know. Well, I do know what was wrong with us when we elected that criminal. Not that anyone cares. How many millions of people like me are out there that do know what the fuck is wrong with us that we elected that person? How many? I don't expect you to answer me, whomever you are, because you don't care about real truth in this country. And I am powerless here. So I've decided to start my year. That doesn't in on this day because of the courage. I had a young baby boy, who God, father, mother, I sat up straight in bed in Mobile, Alabama on Royal Woods Drive. And that voice said, Richard. And I said, no, Lord, it's Robert. Richard. I laid back down and then laughed at myself later because I forgot the name for just a minute, once or twice. The child was born. Both of them. Both of them. I am privileged to say. From my body and they mock me still for my faithfulness to this country. The house that my son was born in is condemned. My inheritance was stripped from me. And I'm alone. But I have it better than people who are still slaves and servants. I have choices I can still make. I just think that the people who stood and sit and lie down and die and are born again from those who valiantly stood for us against wickedness 20 years ago should have universal health care 
and they should have had it and they should continue to have it for the rest of their lives. And I don't even know, I don't even know if they're gonna have that because of the politics in this country. That's Tadashi, my baby girl. So I have decided to begin again. You see the man named in Mobile, Alabama is now 20. He was seven months old and I was about to get pregnant with his sister named after my grandmother, Era Davis Beatty in the first name. But do you know who she was named after in the middle name? Abigail, King David's wife, that one. Faithful to Nabal, America, like her mother is. Do you know what my daughter said approximately not long ago when I explained, you know, I know everybody is still persecuting me or still negative about me, whatever I said, because of my choices in education for this family. I know there's difficulty, but sweetheart, the one thing I want and need is for my children to be 18 before they make choices about something like medicating to learn in a school. The light bulb went on and she was like, yeah, I support that 100%. I get it. I get it, Mom. The second incident I had was last week. My youngest child, that's the Robert. <laughs> that I had in a hospital. My last two children were in the hospital, Seton. With Dr. Michael Love, you can go ask him because he was 11 pounds exactly. I told Curtis in a broken voice, I don't think I can do this anymore. And he was crying too. And he said, no, I don't think you can. we can. But see, I chose to have children without birth control, of my own free will, and then took on the religion of the Christian church. My daughter, the one in the middle name named after Abigail, will have no children and I am so glad for her. But she has the freedom to have a mother who says, don't ever change and I'm here for you. in this messed up country that I don't even know if they have universal health care. I don't even know if they have universal health care. These people who suffered this thing for us. I don't know. Because our country is messed up. I can't have universal health care and neither can my children. You have to play the game. We were left behind in this country. I had both sons and the youngest looked at me last week and said, I will never say these things about you, Mom, what was said about me by others that I bore. And they won't come back and they won't apologize and I don't understand, but I love all of us and not just 12 people. I would wager to say there is not a family in the United States of America that is not dealing with some pretty major pain right now, 20 years later. I would 
Richard to say that, America. I'm gonna go black screen. I'm setting myself apart by myself as a solitary pagan. I will actually add it right now to that piece that you just saw and I'm not going to publish it. I'm going to only put this on YouTube. Because I am generally speaking publicly. Agnostic. Rings by Ralph H. Bloom. Othilla is on pages 98 to 99. It is separation, retreat, Inheritance. I'll take this inheritance. I will pretend to celebrate with you January 1st, 2022, but I want America to know that this is the month 14 years ago that you betrayed me. And I have decided on the 11th day of this month to start over completely before my 56th year. The 55th year is a good year. If you want to look at some um, positivity of Christianity about the number five, it's double grace. I'll take that as Kara and Beatty Coffee. This is the fourth rune, Othilla. This is a time of separating paths. Old skins must be shed, outmoded relationships discarded. When you receive this rune, a peeling away is called for. Part of the cycle of initiation, Othella is a rune of radical severance. This is my new year. People have suffered. I have borne children for this to be true. The sun. God himself, herself, awoke me in Mobile, Alabama at Royal Woods and said, this one is Richard. And it just so happens I didn't plan it. A-R-C, Alpha Richard Coffey, the Ark of the Covenant. It's a C, like my name, Kara, is a C. Hi, Noah. Hi, David, King of Kings, in Psalms. The next daughter, middle name Abigail. I call her Era Abby sometimes, and we smile. The appropriate action here is submission and, quite possibly, retreat. I'm in my office. I'm retreating to a new year, a new way of life, and I'm not yet 56. Knowing how and when to retreat and possessing the firmness of will to carry it out. This will go on no blog, but it will go on YouTube. Real property is associated with Athila. I happen to help to partially own this property. The other one was taken from me. No one is interested in hearing the truth to give me my property back, so I have nullified it because in the gospel record, according to the King of Kings, I need to lose everything and everyone to be true, and I have done so for 14 years, and it's time, it is time 
in the 15 year of my serving a king of kings yet revealed to you America it is time to start over never again to return never again Real property is associated with a villa, for it is the rune of acquisition and benefits. I want myself and all family members of those who died valiantly during September 11th of that fateful year that I will not mention. Because year after year, we must progress and not fade away. My life was irrevocably changed. And I'm going to start my year today for the rest of my life. Not January 1st, 2022. No, I don't recognize it anymore. But I will be a part of your games, America. Your masquerade, Western world. I will be a part and fit in. However, the benefits you receive, the inheritance, may be derived from something you must give up. Witness said America. This can be particularly demanding when what you are called upon to abandon is some aspect of your behavior or part of your cultural inheritance. For then you must look closely at what, until now, you have proudly claimed as your birthright. <laughs> it goes without saying that a house, two houses, that my father built for me and my family is my birthright. It goes without saying, except for I must say it tonight. Whether it is your attachment to your position in society, to the work you do, or even to your beliefs about your own nature, the separation called for will free you to become more truly who you are. I'll take that, Mr. Bloom. Thank you, sir. I'm not going to read the reversed tonight. I deserve not to. I seriously doubt there are many Americans in the United States who can say that. But I don't care if you think I'm wrong, America. Good night.